but it's not showing it. Oh. Hello, you guys. Can you guys hear us yet? I'm going to try something new. Oh, wait. Can you guys hear us now? I'm getting a bunch of yeses. You guys could hear us. Okay, we're back. Can't see it. Okay, can you see and hear us? Okay. Yeah, they just shut us down a couple of times, like three times in a row. Just stream complete, they shut us down. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it doesn't surprise me. Yeah, we had almost 700 people in the chat room. Um, I hear that other people are going through this as well. Yeah, they, yeah, it's not just us. They are not um, discriminatory when they just this information they don't want out, so they do what they can. Yeah, and we understand who these powers that be are. You know, we understand who they are, and and then we understand the censorship uh, as well. And so well, they got up here now. All right, so yeah, most definitely nuclear. They don't. They definitely don't. Them and their their love childs, the so Lizzies and the love childs. So we were just showing this, and this is Italy. People walking around with face masks on now. Everything is going to a different level. Oh, we just lost like five hundred people now too. <laughs> we don't know how many we have. Okay, now this is a big one that I wanted to bring up, and so I'm going to wait to see if we got everybody here. How do we get rid of this stupid thing? All right. Yeah, that does Angel Mist. We know who they are. We know they control all the media. You know, there's only six companies that really control all the media when you get down yeah, to it. Which is a really good point. So everything we have coming in, the information that we do have coming in needs to be kind of picked apart with a lot of discernment because they do control what we see. Okay, I'm going to bypass what I had up next um, because that's important. I think there's a lot of things that are important. Uh, here you see Greek Health Ministry to hold extraordinary coronavirus briefing. And again, now Greece, you know, close to Italy, you're going to have all these countries that are going to be shutting their borders. That's the bottom line. They're, they're all going to be shutting their borders. There was, uh, I saw a good article about Poland with the Black Plague. Now, Poland still suffered with the Black Plague. But they shut their borders and they suffered less than most others because they just basically insulated and shut down their borders. Here you see a uh, massive release of sulfur dioxide happening in Chongqi, which is way bigger than Wuhan. And so sulfur is released during the burning of organic material. So, you know, are the numbers right? Because uh, China only showed just a few cases more today it was ridiculous no the numbers aren't right they're just absolutely covering up and here's dr ian mckay coronavirus live update south korea reports another 161 cases bringing their total to 763 and over here we see the first infected person being buried and this is the village of abu shanak baden um and you see the neighboring countries of Turkey, Iraq, Afghanistan, Pakistan. The CV was not released to this extent. They're asking why. Why Why was Iran so hard hit? Why when Iraq, Turkey, Afghanistan, Pakistan haven't been hard hit? So how do you explain that? Well, you explain it because they're, they're, they have a different agenda. Their end goal and what we see are a couple of different things so you know you see the end goal you see what's happening and then you fill in the blanks with what honestly truly makes sense okay so can you guys hear us out there looks like we have 322 but i don't see any comments coming through do you see comments i see comments yeah i got them okay them. they're not they're not coming through on the big screen though wow so that's weird 
Yeah, they're just they're messing with it. They're doing right. their thing. So, you know, guys, tonight before you go to bed, you know, send out the intention and the prayer that we, you know, humanity wakes up and we take these lizzies down. We take these cold-blooded beings down, see them removed from power, you know, see the the uh, card house that they've built crumble. We have to we have to really focus hard on this. And that video I did, we do not consent. You know, that's what this is about. We have to all speak up and say, hey, we don't consent to this crap. You know, we don't. And we have to demand it. I think there's been a lot of people that were very, very pro-Trump that now that they see that the, the skies are still the same, right? That junk's still in the skies. Uh, F-I-V-E... G yep. is rolling out even more. Yeah. M A N D A T O R Y V A, you know, you get the picture, mm-hmm. is is being pushed by that regime as well. It's no different than any of the others. You know, they just wanted to give hope. That's the bottom line. They just wanted to give hope. They just wanted to distract you and think that they were doing something good, that they were, you know, fighting the deep state and underground bunkers and are about to take away. Uh, H-I-L-L-A-R-Y and all those uh, liberal cronies and lock them away forever or bring out the guillotines. But that that was all crap. That's distraction. You know, that's trying to get you guys that have been somewhat awake, you know, into to buying into another false paradigm. Meanwhile, the program keeps moving forward. So we have to recognize that. So we need to speak up much more than we have been speaking up. And we need to ask for help from the higher authorities as well. You know, if you are a Christian, then, you know, call on God. And and we all do, I think, for the most part, believe there is a ultimate source of, every, you know, everything. Um, use your own words. Just put your heart out there and ask for help. Ask for help from the angelic realm. Yeah, because we definitely have a demonic realm that's controlling us. Yeah, and you know they use their their magic to get what they want, and there's white magic and black magic, and I don't see why we are not doing a little bit more on our part to ask the realms for help because they're certainly doing it. Look at the exponential growth in Italy! Boom, 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 boom. I mean, this is going up at a pace we have not seen in modern times, and that's that one that we were looking at. So, and this is Dr. Eric. Do people think the princess ship epidemic is over? Nope. 18% of 3,700 person ships still hasn't been tested. To date, 691 of 3,011 have tested positive. That's 23% have tested positive. You got 700 more to test. That's huge. That's, that, it's huge. You know, the RO factor is huge. Here you, you see Helen Branswell. I don't mean to pick on any particular country, but all these zeros, which means no new cases, in the first column of numbers from the left makes me wonder how hard some countries are looking because it seems unlikely there aren't more. So, you know, when you look at these ones saying no, in other words, she's saying that their nose is growing very large. Here we see India to screen passengers flying from Kathmandu for coronavirus. And we have a Malaysian national falls unconscious in Mustang and dies. So again, you know, a guy walking from the temple on the way to the hospital, didn't make it to the hospital, dropped dead before getting to the hospital. If he was good enough to go to the temple, and then he's like, wow, maybe I should go check in at the hospital, and he didn't make it there, something's wrong. Yeah, and you know, the chat is moving fast enough. It's almost like we definitely have more than what's showing in there. But I think this is part of their little alchemy trick is um, have the the illness and then maybe get zapped with the uh, uh, frequency of sorts. And that's going to like pull the oxygen out of your body and then boom, you know, because a lot of these, a lot of these people who fall flat on the ground, I, I think, they're finding out it was like sudden cardiac failure and 
um, this is what's happening and, and it's terrible. But the biggest thing we can do is keep working on the immune system. And, um, okay, Kat, uh, not Kathy, um, 619 tube knees says his nanoparticles were activated by acoustic act actuation. I wouldn't doubt that. Mm -hmm. Um, because that's, that's part of why the skies look the way they do. It's making sure everybody, um, is that way. And so, you know, we, we all, I think, have these type of things in us. And, uh, unfortunately, and then the renal failure as well. So another reason to sweat it out every day, because yes. that'll help your kidneys detox as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, let's see. And here's another thing. If you could and you're able to check the local hospital wait times because they're pretty large. And, you know, are these all for for the regular flu or are some of these the CV? And uh, this is looking at a few different ones. This is in Vancouver, Richmond and North Shore's emergency departments. As you see. So it's something to check out. Now, Wuhan to quarantine all cured patients for 14 days after some test positive again. And this is something else we were talking about. Is this like an HIV or like the spirochete that causes Lyme's and it's just in your system forever? And if so, even when you feel better, what does that mean? I mean, what does that mean at, at large? <laughs> does that mean we're going to have leper colonies? Um... And how would you ever even know when some people are not showing symptoms and, and are never sick if they could end up being positive again and again and again? So maybe they don't actually defeat this. They just basically subdue it so it goes dormant, but it's still there and still able to be spread. Want to talk about a perfect bioweapon? Yeah, they've, they've done a really good job. They, they've really outdone themselves with this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, this is, um, wow. You know, because think about how that's going to be. Now, again, when we look at, say, the Black Plague, you know, the Black Death, it went on for years. Years. So this might only be the beginning of this. And here you see more and more police deployed to Wuhan to maintain social stability. Um, some numbers I've seen are like 20,000 from other provinces. And this is out of the Jerusalem Post. And it's M.K. Orly Levy, coronavirus, CV, <laughs> I get used to saying that, engineered in a Chinese lab, right? And this is the Jerusalem Post out of Israel saying it was engineered in a Chinese lab. And this one. Okay, article from a Chinese site, main points, CV, and SARS, lab made by U.S. to kill Chinese. Ebola, lab made to kill Africans. Whatever you will make out of it, here it is. So this is what, this is probably going to start making the rounds, you know, through China uh, as well. So what what does that do then? That seems to set, again, us against each other, China against the U.S. And, you know, as we know, you know, the U.S. is allied with Israel, especially with um, President Trump, as um, Benjamin Netanyahu has said that Israel never had a stronger ally. And then there's those that believe that President Trump really works for the Mossad. When you get down to it, as does Alex Jones, you know, there's that's what many people do believe. So officials scramble to contain CV outbreaks in South Korea, Iran, and Italy. And so, you know, such diverse places, it's spreading fast. And uh, again, you know, here in the U.S., it's probably way higher. So interesting, too, President Trump eliminated the position called Senior Director of Global Health Security. That person used to work in the NSC to coordinate responses to global health emergencies and potential pandemics. Well, that was good timing, wasn't it? That was from Dr. Eric. And so the CDC has issued a level two travel advisory for Japan recommending postponement of all non-essential travel. So where's the advisory for South Korea and Italy, which have faster number of rising cases? Good point. Very, very good point. 
And here we see more food wasted, wasted as millions start to starve in China. As we see food there, and yeah, they are still arresting people, you know, elderly people on bikes. And uh, there was an old gentleman that looked to be close to 80, and he looked like they tasered him. And uh, here we see thousands of Koreans marching on the street demanding deportation of the Chinese. They want all the Chinese kicked out of the country. So China, the Chinese are now synonymous with viruses in the world. And here, just a little bit off that beaten track there, thousands of protesters clash with police at the opening of Latin America's biggest music festival. The latest in a four-month-old wave of grassroots anger over economic inequality and other woes in China. And so we're looking at this in Chile, and that's one thing that's really stopped is the protests over there. Right, and that feels pretty deliberate too. You know, I mean, why go out and actually... Deal, deal with people or why go out and work with them when you don't have to. You can just send this horrible thing out and wipe them all out. It's just horrible. And so, you know, here again, we're looking at um, the different protests in Hong Kong and Chile. And, you know, as we said, you know, well, that's one thing this virus will do is it will stop it. Stop the protests because you can't go out now. <laughs> so... Colloidal silver, is it really a silver bullet against potentially deadly viral infections? Um, yeah, so I would recommend that you guys make up your own decisions. You know, I, everybody has to make up their own decisions, do your own research. Um, Cindy makes us ours, and, and we take it regularly. I took it uh, for about six months or so before I met Cindy, maybe a year. Um, whenever I would feel any little thing coming on, and it seems to have worked really good, don't forget vitamin D, especially D3. So vitamin D, especially if you're in somewhere uh, that is cloud-covered, whether they're real or artificial, doesn't matter. Uh, if you're lacking vitam you know, vitamin D, you're, you're probably missing out on some sunshine. And the health benefits of Boswellia, this is definitely something to take on a regular basis. Um, it's good for asthma. It's good against inflammation, arthritis, colitis, a whole bunch of different things. It does have anti-tumor effects as well. And uh, I actually, is it kind of licorice-y? I would say it's kind of licorice-y. Yes, it is. It tastes a little like black licorice. It's really good stuff. I, mean, I, I like it when she gives me those to take. <laughs> I say, yes, dear. And uh, nine echinacea benefits from colds to cancer. Echinacea is another one uh, to not forget. Echinacea, and uh, it does grow in a lot of places as well. And yeah, I'm not going to play the the sounds, but yeah, you know, it's just another one of those sounds of the people screaming in frustration in quarantine Wuhan. You know, as it says, it's kind of like the screams from hell. I mean, these people have been locked down for a long time. They got to go st be going stir crazy. They're hungry. Quite a few are probably sick. And you want to talk about being depressed. And now they're even just dragging the kids away in China. As we see, the little guy's like, don't don't take my sister. <laughs> and they're they're dragging her away. It's it's just so sad to see all this. So, oh gosh, what was this again? Okay, that's right. This was the Michigan one. Uh, this is a local news report on Channel Four in Michigan, and it, and they, they come right out and say that there's there's hundreds of people being monitored in Michigan. We know about. Uh, over, I think over 7,000, 7,400 in California. You know, the numbers are probably way, way higher. If you put a, if you put the whole country into effect, there's tens of thousands being mon monitored in the country. Mm -hmm. You know, so we, we need to recognize that and be going on, you know, that basis in the way we behave out in public. Um, Tsunami-like coronavirus. Oops, I said it again. CV floods South Korea with new cases. Europe begins to isolate Italy. And uh, this is out of Zero Hedge as well. 
As we were talking about yesterday, 200 Israelis quarantined. Four more cases confirmed in the UK. Uh, Iran has confirmed eight deaths. And so that's the most deaths outside of China. And uh, you got you really do have to wonder about that. Why Iran after China? It, it just doesn't seem to be logical. It really doesn't seem to be logical. And you got Turkey and Pakistan closing the borders with Iran. As we have talked about, all the borders are probably going to end up being closed in so many places right now. Uh, lots of shortages of essential drugs going on as well. Think about people like on uh, blood pressure medicines and all that. And, you know, for, for that, um, again, there's always natural alternatives. So, you know, it's so strongly encourage everybody to look at natural alter alternatives that you can stock up on cheaply mm -hmm. while you can. And uh, here we see futures plunge, gold soars at CV19. It, it's cratering complacency. You know, people are starting to see it. I think a lot of industries are starting to say, Ooh, I don't think I could be too optimistic, you know, after all. Uh, if silver's going to go up, gold probably will go up too. Uh, and then you got Chinese workers refusing to go back to work despite Beijing's demands. And uh, that's interesting as well because they know what's going on. They see what's going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they do, you know, and couple of things really quick as far as our attitude is concerned is so important. I can't stress that enough. Try to smile as much as you can. I know it might sound silly. It might sound small, but it matters. It makes a difference. And is, with the vitamin C, take a lot several times a day. That came from Raven. You want to sort of have it leak into the system all throughout the day. So if you just take one copious amount of it, it's you're just going to most of it out but if you just keep taking it throughout the day that's really going to help you and thank you guys for sticking with us through them shutting us down multiple times and uh you know we'll be up and, and running again tomorrow and uh, <laughs> i've been thinking about looking at twitch and we'll we'll start um the process over there so we'll be able to stream there and maybe they won't be able to interfere there um as well uh, so, you know, keep going with your precautions, keep reaching out and building your family. And when we say that, you know, a lot of times family is not blood. It's just people that think alike and there's so family out there for sure. So we need to pick each other up. And you know what? We have help on the other side. You know, we have help on the other side. Uh, I don't care what people are going to say. I'll never believe in any particular dogma because dogma is man-made. So I'll never believe in any single dogma. Uh, I, you know, you're, nobody's ever going to convince me. I've studied all these different religions, as has Raven. That's why we, um, you know, jive so well. Dogma's man-made, man but it doesn't mean that there's not what we would call angelic beings, and it doesn't mean that there's not demonic beings. It, it doesn't mean that there's not a, a God, a true God, as there's been many beings that portray themselves as God, and they're not. They're just... <laughs> Uh, opportunistic beings that take advantage of gullible humans. Um, but bottom line is, I do think there is a source, and I do think there are m very benevolent beings that respect free will, so they will not step in and interfere uh, unless we, we ask for help from above. So, and at the same time, ask for help in the sense, too, of helping us to find our courage and our strength and guidance into how we should move forward in breaking down the system that has kept us in such a uh, darkness for so long. And, you know, one thing I did when I was, you know, looking at different types of organized religion and so on, I, I finally got fed up at everyone telling me what to do. And then I, I made up Cindy's religion. I started piecing different things together that made sense to me that was a part of me. And I put these things into action. Um, and that's that was the absolute best thing I could have done for myself. I call it Cindy's religion because I don't follow just one, but I do take information and I, and I put it to action in my life. And maybe it might help you too. So as always, my friends, thank you for your support on Ko-Fi and Patreon as well. Like, share, subscribe, and spread the word. Remember, we're also on BitChute and Brightian as well. Uh, in case anything ever happens over here or when it does happen over here. So be safe out there. 
God bless and namaste, guys. God bless and namaste.